Hey guys, it's Tony. Today I'm going to be reviewing the 2023 version of the Rand McNally Road Atlas that just came out this year. Uh, it's America's number one road atlas. To give you guys some background, uh, I have a business that hauls RVs all over the country. And uh, we also own an RV rental business where we have to do deliveries uh, within Texas. So yes, I know that everybody's probably saying what, what I need this for when I have a phone. Well, the problem is sometimes I get out in the field and I've got my phone and I also have a GPS, a separate GPS unit made by Garmin. But sometimes either my phone doesn't have a very good signal, or I'm out in rural areas a lot of times, or the maps on my Garmin diesel aren't up to date in a particular area. So I need a third backup. And this is where a road atlas comes into play. Um, it gives you the ability to be able to look at an actual map, look and see what highways run off of interstates, things like that. Yes, you're not gonna be able to have um, real-time road conditions, traffic and all that, but in a pinch, if you need to get out of somewhere or you need to figure out how to uh, navigate yourself, it's the old school way of being able to do that. So that's what this road atlas will accomplish. What I really like about this is it's got a, a lot of information that's just interesting. Um, so it starts out with a table of contents, shows you uh, states, cities, where to find them, um, uh, as well as an overview on national parks, driving charts and things like that, mileage charts. So as you go through this first section, goes through information on the national parks which is really interesting to read about. Um, I've never been to a national park and that's one of my bucket lists to do is take some time away from work to be able to take my family to a national park. So I'm gonna read this information as it's really interesting. It kind of gives you some history on a lot of them when they were founded, all that sort of thing. This mileage chart is kind of fascinating because what it'll allow you to be able to do is all the major cities are listed down the side um, and you've got a few that are listed this way. And if you cross-reference them, you can see roughly what's the distance between them. So if I say, hey, what's the dis distance between Denver, Colorado, and let's say Boston, Massachusetts, I can say Boston and just run that all the way up to Denver, and it's 1,970 miles. So that's kind of a cool way. Again, yeah, you could use Google. If you don't have access to that, um, this comes in handy. Um, here's a map of the whole United States with all the major interstates. Um, again, you're not going to be able to drill down into state highways and things like that, but it does show you all the major interstates and where all the cities are um, at a glance. And then as you go into each of the states, it's, and it's listed alphabetically, um, there are maps that break down the state. And big states like California, for example, are broken down into, into regions. So you have the northern region, um, probably the, the southern region, etc., where you can drill down and see where some of the state highways are. Um, it may not necessarily show you a lot of those county roads, um, but again, just to be able to help you navigate throughout the state, this is this is pretty helpful. So that's what a road atlas does, and this thing does a really good job at it. Um, I recommend these highly, especially keeping one in the car, and that's exactly what I'm going to do is I'll keep this in my truck just in case, and um, hopefully I won't get into a bind, but if I do, I know I've got this to be able to look at an old school map. So I hope you found this review to be helpful. Until next time, take care.